This week, student government kicked off its annual Be Beautiful week with the Mirrorless Mondays. Later, we discuss how the recent trend of affirmations lends to power of, to body positivity movements. And finally, we will be joined by local business, Studio Fire, to explain how to inspire healthy bodies and thoughts. Good morning, Carolina, and welcome to our brand new show, Package Live. I'm Megan Dauxius. Reflected on glass, windows and puddles, phones and laptops, mirrors are everywhere, except on last Monday. Mirrorless Monday prevented students from looking at themselves in campus building mirrors as part of an initiative to, launched by Student Government Be Beautiful Week. Emily Dangler, the Vice President of Student Government, said the goal of Mirrorless Monday was to promote the Be Beautiful message of body positivity by reminding students that they are great just at the way they are and that their reflection should not define how they feel about themselves. We wanted students to take a step back from mirrors and realize that they are so much more than their reflection, she said. However, mirror fasting, the concept of turning your back on a mirror, does not solve body positivity issues in the long run. To combat this, Christine Morgan, founded the Butterfly, who founded the Butterfly Organization, a group that supports people dis dealing with eating disorders and negative body image. CEO Christine Morgan said, quote, mirror fasting may take the focus off appearance, appearance for some, but the problem starts in the head, end quote. Knowing this, student government launched Thoughtful Thursday, which encouraged students, staff, and faculty to write positive messages on a mirror. Since I could not attend the event on Thursday, I'm grabbing a mirror and I'm going to write a positive message for myself about myself. I'm writing about my confidence because I'm proud of who I am and I'm excited that I have powerful confidence. I challenge you to do the same and what, you, what will you write? Well, student government asked the same questions to our fellow Gamecocks. Let's take a look. I'd say my favorite thing about myself is how friendly I am. My favorite thing about myself has probably got to be my smile. My favorite thing about myself is my personality. Like, something like my education or just what I've been able to know, I think, and apply. My favorite thing about myself is my voice. My favorite thing about myself is my smile. My favorite thing about myself is my resilience. My favorite thing about myself is my style. My favorite thing about myself are my eyes. My favorite thing about myself would have to be my height. My favorite thing about myself is my determination. My favorite thing about myself is my personality. My favorite part about myself is my brain. <laughs> Affirmations have been a growing trend this year. We see them on social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok, especially highlighting woman empowerment. Notably, you may have seen the mother-daughter duo, Scarlett and Tiana, in the mirror every morning coaching each other to say things like, I am beautiful and I am strong. And rising TikTok star, Emmy Melly, who is releasing the full version of her song, I am a woman, tomorrow evening. Kids and young adults have been using the song all over the world to embrace their beauty and enhance their confidence. Let's take a look at some of the clips. I am woman, I am fearless, I am sexy, I'm divine, I'm unbeatable, I'm creative, you can get it. This trend is definitely running parallel to student government's Be Beautiful campaign this week, and we're bringing you more ways to start loving yourself and embrace your natural beauty. Today we brought in, to, in Columbia Studio Fire instructor, Anna, to discuss how this local business is inspiring tons of young people around Columbia through their classes. Anna, would you like to tell us a little bit more about your program and thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yes, I'm manager instructor at Studio Fire. We are an infrared heated fusion fitness studio, so we do classes ranging from yoga, bar, hit dance cardio and our main message at Studio Fire is just to come as you are. We want everyone to be able to come into our studio and feel safe and secure um, no matter where they are in their fitness and wellness journey and know that they are beautiful and that they are working towards their bettering their health and not just what they look like. That's great. And you have any message you'd like to give? That um, I always say that this is your body, your movement, and your practice, and so it doesn't matter if it looks different than the person next to you, as long as you're doing it, it's your own, and everyone's always beautiful on their own mat. I love that. Now, do you want to show us a few moves? Of course. All right, let's go. Now, show me some of the easier movements. Okay. <laughs> well, the easier movement, you can do in a dress. Okay. It's going to be a warrior, too, which I think is great, because everyone's their own warrior. Um, so you're going to step your feet out really wide. Okay. You're going to bend your front knee. 
okay. and then your back leg is straight and then you're gonna reach your arms out wide and then you have your gaze over awesome. your left hand so you feel wide and you're taking up space so you're always allowed to take up space when you're in yoga. All right. And then we're going to reverse it. So you're going to flip your left palm and then reach up towards the ceiling. So you feel a stretch in your left side. Great. What do these like mean? Like what's the message behind them? This is just finding straight uh, length and strength in the, your left side here. And you're just taking up space and you're feeling wide and powerful like in your own body. Awesome. And do you want to show us any of the harder ones? Sure. Let's okay. see what we got. <laughs> so from Warriors, you can take a bind, which is wrapping it around here oh wow look at you <laughs> that's awesome thank you so much anna and everyone make sure to stop by for a class or sign up for a monthly membership to studio fire thank, thank you. you you can find more information about the instructors and packages they offer at studiofirecola.com that's all we have for you this week gamecocks be sure to follow us on instagram twitter and facebook at sgtv at usc to keep up with all things USC and subscribe to our news brief, SGTV Recap, in time to get the next edition on Monday. For SGTV News 4, I'm Megan Dauxius.